Hello everyone, this is Whitney Will from Starhook Astrology and I wanted to talk to you today about the upcoming Mercury retrograde because today, uh, May 14th, Mercury has entered the pre-shadow of the retrograde. So what that means is that Mercury has entered the degrees that it is going to retrograde back over. So from now until May 29th, when Mercury actually stations retrograde, we're kind of in the prelude period of the retrograde. So if we're paying attention, we should be able to pick up on some of the themes that are going to come up for us during the retrograde period between May 29th and June 22nd. And so I'm just gonna show um, a graphic to kind of help um, visualize what I'm talking about here. So in a Mercury retrograde, there are a few key points. So it's not just the day that Mercury stations retrograde um, and the day it stations direct. We've got a few more that I have listed here. So where we're at today is where it enters the pre-shadow. And so it has moved into 16 degrees of Gemini, which is going to be the degree that it retrogrades back to and stops at. Um, so we've now entered the period between 16 degrees and 24 degrees of Gemini that's going to be our retrograde degrees. So it's going to move forward and it's starting to kind of slow down until the 29th where it's going to come to a full stop. And then as we head into June, it's going to pick up speed, but in retrograde motion. So if we were watching it in the sky, if you could see it, which you can't because it's so close to the sun um, that you won't be able to see it, or you might be able to see it here eventually as it's moving backwards, you can't see it. So um, it's going to appear to be moving backwards and then it reaches what is kind of the midpoint. It's not always the midpoint calendar wise. So it's not always the, you know, we're not always like two, well, a week and a half into Mercury retrogrades, but it's the midpoint in terms of the degrees of the retrograde um, where we have the Kazemi. So Mercury conjoins the sun. Um, so they come to, they come together at the exact same degree of the zodiac. And what we get is kind of a purification of Mercury. So we have the pre-retrograde period where you are going to be introduced to kind of the themes um, that will be revisited during the retrograde. And then we start the retrograde and generally this first portion before the Kazemi is the more difficult part. That is the part where we struggle to communicate, missed emails, technology didn't work, not working, all of those kind of quintessential Mercury retrograde themes. Then at the Kazemi, the idea is that you receive the piece of information that kind of makes everything make sense. And so that can be literally a communication or it can be a realization within yourself. So it can be, oh, this stuff is not working because I'm pushing too hard or I'm going too fast, right? Mercury retrograde cycles are an interruption of normally scheduled programming that has to do with kind of the way our minds function on autopilot. So if you think about Mercury retrogrades, Mercury goes retrograde three different times a year. And this year in 2021, they're all in air signs. And so air signs are really about ideas, they're about communication, they're things that move very quickly, um, but also um, um, part of their strength is being able to step back and gain perspective on things. And so these Mercury retrogrades and air signs will be specifically about social dynamics. Um, and so it can be, oh, I'm using the wrong words with this person, or I am calling this thing the wrong thing in my mind. And that is causing all of these problems. So the Kazemi is kind of the like Eureka, oh, I get it moment. 
that happens in the midpoint of the retrograde. So that is going to happen on June 10th. And now what is really significant about June 10th is that it will also be the Gemini solar eclipse. So it'll be the Gemini new moon that is eclipsed and we have the Kazemi that day. And so there is, the, the eclipse lends this um, more high stakes vibe to the Kazemi, which happens three times a year as Mercury goes retrograde three times a year. Um, so the eclipse is going to make it like this flash of insight that could potentially change your whole life. And it's also going to extend the time. So with eclipses, we have about six months, five and a half, six months um, for what they begin to kind of reach fruition, especially with a solar eclipse, which is a new moon. So we've got from the Gemini new moon solar eclipse until the um, Gemini full moon lunar eclipse, which will happen on December 4th of 2021, to kind of see that to fruition. So we have this realization, possibly, and it takes a long time. And then what's interesting about that is that the December 4th um, full moon lunar eclipse in Gemini is also conjunct Mercury, but this time it's a direct Mercury, but in Sagittarius, which is the sign of its detriment. Whereas with the June 10th, you're getting lost. I get it. <laughs> it's a lot of dates. It's a lot of details. The June 10th Kazemi and Eclipse, we've got Mercury in Gemini, the sign of its rulership, but retrograde. So the way that we receive information and the way that we tell stories to ourselves about how we got to where we are is really part of not only this Mercury retrograde cycle, but of this larger eclipse cycle that we're in and that we have about six months left. Um, we're about to head into eclipse season. And then by the time we get to the next eclipse season in the late fall, um, we will have our first eclipse in the Scorpio Taurus spectrum. Um, so we are, we are slowly leaving the Gemini Sag eclipses, but we still have a couple more iterations and they're tied into a Mercury retrograde, which gives this Mercury retrograde kind of a, a few exclamation points at the end because it's not just autopilot for us running around doing our daily life. It's, um, it has to do with the larger stories and themes that ground us. So then in between the Kazemi and the direct station, you, you have this piece of wisdom that you got at the Kazemi, but we're still not out of the woods. The Kazemi is kind of like, you know, if you are halfway through the woods, you may have found the path that leads you out, but you still have halfway to go. So we have that realization. Um, generally, things are a little bit easier um, in this second portion after the Kazemi. Um, and we're figuring out how to implement it. And that can have some fumbling and some reworkings, or you know, we've realized what we were getting wrong. And so this portion of the retrograde is kind of the do-over portion. If we tried to do it the first time, it didn't work. Now we do it over again, or we get things set up to do it over again. And then when it stations direct, we have what's called the post shadow. So Mercury will station direct on June 22nd at 16 degrees of Gemini. So it stations retrograde at 24 degrees, it stations direct at 16. That is the section of your chart to look for things that are getting activated by this Mercury retrograde. So between 16 and 24 degrees of Gemini, um, Mercury will conjoin all of that stuff three times. But also if you have anything in those degrees of Virgo, of Sagittarius, or of Pisces, Mercury will be making a hard aspect. So it'll be squaring anything in Virgo and Pisces, and it will be opposing anything in Sagittarius. So all of those things will be active as well. So it's going to back over them. And then when it stations direct at 16 degrees, it still has to go from 16 to 24 degrees 
one more time. And so that is really the integration period. That's where we take everything that we've struggled with, everything that we've learned, the incorrect assumptions that we've made and the challenges we've faced, we put it into practice and we streamline it and we get going again off in a new direction. So I hope you enjoyed this video of a breakdown of a Mercury re retrograde in Gemini, which is coming up. Um, and one of the key features in the next, um, in the next couple months, Mercury will finally leave the post shadow on July 7th, and it leaves Gemini for good on July 11th and splashes into Cancer, and we all get to do nostalgia and memorabilia and memoir writing. Um, please like this video, share it if it's helpful, um, and hit subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. Thanks.